Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Alex coming at you with another Call of Duty Vanguard Zombies video and today I just want to talk about the recent patch notes or the update blog that Treyarch released for 115 day and the update that we're going to be receiving later tonight for the Vanguard Zombies mode, but I'm not going to sit here and read it to you like a toddler. I understand you know how to read. So you have other YouTubers that go through all the patch notes, go watch them. I'm not going to do that. But what I am going to do is sit here and discuss what I think about this update and actually how I think it's going to hurt the mode more than hell. First of all, the survival gameplay thing coming to Shinonuma, great idea. Let's have that, fine. I guess I do actually really like the map Shinonuma that they have kind of cultivated through the Vanguard Zombies engine. I personally love Shinonuma. It's been one of my favorite maps since all the way back in World at War. I love that map. I loved it in Zombies Chronicles. I loved it in Black Ops 1. Well, actually, I don't think I've actually played it on Black Ops 1, so I just lied to you. I'm sorry about that. I hope you forgive me. And I think it's going to be great inside of Vanguard. However, it's a seriously hard map. It's a very, very hard map. And this game is also quite difficult. And you know what? Why it's quite difficult because there's no wonder weapon if we don't have an opportunity to defend ourselves with a powerful wonder weapon how the hell are we actually going to be able to get to super high rounds with just the shotgun and some covenants okay I guess I personally don't think it's going to be that fun of an experience because the problem with Vanguard Zombies isn't the maps. It's the gameplay. The gameplay is just god awful. Now, what scares me is that I have a feeling. I don't know why I have this feeling, but I don't think that they're going to give us the whole Shinonuma experience. It says inside of this blog post that the survival gameplay is coming to Shinonuma, not that the whole entire Shinonuma experience is coming to Vanguard. So the wording is being chosen very deliberately. The these people do not make mistakes. Every word matters. The way they phrase it matters. The way they frame it matters. So don't get your hopes up thinking that we're going to be flogging zombies till round 100 and go into the doctor's quarters and the magical perk machines will spawn in randomly. Don't think that. Don't think that at all. This is not going to be what you think it is. This is not going to be a traditional survival experience. It's going to be survival gameplay coming to Shinonuma. It's a very big difference, and I think that should be highlighted. And then they start talking about the Tomb of Rituals. Now, I did not know what this was going to be. I was asking around. I did leave a comment on another video. I haven't checked to see if it was answered, but Treyarch answered it for me. Nonetheless, they're basically saying that this is a tool to allow you to upgrade your field upgrades during the match, which I like that concept. I do. I like being able to upgrade things inside of a zombies match. I like being able to look for things and be on the hunt for a quest to unlock a special weapon or something like that. And then you pack a punch it or whatever little things like that but the heart system the sacrificial heart system is stupid as hell so now i'm gonna have to like get to round 20 so that i can get whatever covenants i want and then i have to level up my artifacts as well in each game so while i'm fine with things being inside of the game rather than in the menu all they're doing is putting a menu like inside of their perk system inside of their field upgrading system and then we just go to a menu inside of the game and then click purchase or click upgrade like okay Okay, so this is also very stupid and I think it's going to ruin the game. So we're uh, 0 for 2. Okay, let's continue on. Pack-a-punch camos. Now, this is where I'm actually kind of pro Treyarch here. I think they did a good job. This camo looks beautiful. I like this polygon geometry-esque thing that they've been doing since Black Ops Cold War. Very, very cool. And hopefully you'll be able to see those camos on the ground before you pick them up. Adding score streaks. Okay, great. That's fine as well. Not totally sold on it because the score streaks in this game are absolutely horrendous. They're not fun to use. You can't run and fire the war machine. You can't run and use the death machine. So you're actually kind of slowed down with your movement. Hopefully they fix those problems because I've been playing multiplayer as of late just to kind of really see if I hate this game and just I, I, I want to know if I hate it for sure, you know, because there's a lot of talk in the community about how bad it is. So I, I try to experience it to see how bad it is. And I don't totally hate the multiplayer, but I do hate the score streaks inside of multiplayer. I think they are trash. So adding them to zombies again on paper sounds fine, but it's not really something that I care about. I, I think that this game is so unoptimized from a gameplay perspective that you could add all of the coolest features in the world and it's not going to do anything. You can't polish a turd. This game is just it's just garbage foundationally. So then they talk about expanding your arsenal, being able to unlock things, being able to unlock things like the Katana and the new SMG. That's great. I That should be staple in a mode now. There are a couple things inside of Black Ops Cold War zombies that should be staples, like being able to not add the power 
whack a punch machine to your gun if you prefer your blueprint skin. That stuff should be 100% in the game forever. Unlocking weapons inside of zombies should be a part of the game forever. Free DLC, that should be part of the game forever for they're not going to do paid content. They're going to do all these blueprints and battle passes like that should be a staple. Treating this game like multiplayer should be just how it is. I know that I'm asking for a lot with that, but okay, whatever. So then they're talking about server pause. They admit that they screwed up. I'm glad they repent for their mistakes, but it's still not good enough. So we're basically like one for five right now. Basically the pack-a-punch camos are looking pretty nice, but we're still not even gonna get the feature that we had in Cold War. More than likely, it doesn't say it inside of the patch notes. Now here is where things get interesting for me. Looking ahead, if you've been paying attention to the narrative intel and conversations between our Dark Aether entities in season one, you might have an idea of where we're headed in season two. In addition to the new hub map located elsewhere on the globe, we'll be taking players to multiple arenas, including the Dark Aether itself, in a completely original location crafted for Vanguard Zombies. There's plenty more in the works for Season 2, including multiple wonder weapons, more survival gameplay, a new story quest, and the introduction of a new Dark Aether entity, a new enemy type, new objective gameplay, and more. We're also working on future Zombies content, and we're not done updating our roster of operators inside of Black Ops Cold War. And then they say, you know, double XP, we're excited to play with you. So this has a lot of information packed into it. This is the paragraph I think is the most important. So they're basically saying we're going to Egypt, which okay. But just like I said in my, we're not going to Egypt video, a new hub map, a new hub map. Do you, do you see those words? Hub map. Darren Fang ain't going anywhere, boys and girls. Darren Fang ain't going nowhere. We are not going to be getting traditional round based inside of this new construct that they have created for the zombies mode. We are getting Darren Fang for season two or whatever, DLC two. And then they're going to give us a bunch of little crappy locations and we're going to be teleporting with this same overarching gameplay style. And then they're going to be like, but we also put the void in there so you can have dark ether. You can have dark ether round based zombies. It's the void. Go fuck yourself. How about that? How about that? Multiple wonder weapons. Okay. Um, what does that mean? They're going to put the ray gun and the ray gun mark two in there or something. Not give us any original zombies wonder weapons. So probably is what's going to happen with that. More survival gameplay. So just like I said, adding the void new story quest. So I'm assuming this means the main quest, the main Easter egg is coming in season two. Oh, also they said they're adding a new field upgrade. Great. Cool. Can't wait to have to unlock all of its tier features inside of a, a menu inside of the game again. When I hear all of this stuff and I read all this stuff, this just shows me how Activision came to Treyarch, you know, two days before Vanguard was supposed to come out. And they were like, we need you to create zombies for Vanguard. Vanguard doesn't have a zombies mode or Vanguard's zombies mode is abysmal. You have a month to basically put together a trailer. So Treyarch built the trailer and then uh, made the mode last. That's pretty much my theory. Very convoluted theory. I know it's high tech stuff. But to be fair, I know this stuff is complicated and it's not, you know, that easy, but they have to make sure they can market the product before they can sell the product. That's usually how it goes, even though they do have multiple teams, but they need to make sure that they can show us what they're making. And this is uh, absolutely trash. And this update isn't going to fix anything. And I think it's actually going to make it worse. And it's probably going to break the game because Sledgehammer and Treyarch are not on the same page. They're not communicating for shit. So we have no idea what's going on. Most of the time, they're giving us a little bit of a peek ahead. I appreciate that, Treyarch. I wish you would do this more often, letting us know what's going on. But this mode, this particular iteration of zombies, Vanguard zombies, is not fundamentally sound. Objective based gameplay is stupid because it forces players to do something that they don't necessarily want to do in order to progress. Now, when you're doing stuff like opening up the pack a punch machine or trying to unlock the wonder weapon in a traditional round based zombies, yes, that also does limit the player in a certain degree. So that's why it's good to make that is like kind of simple as possible, but fun and replayable just so the average player can get the cool features and has access to the great secrets of the map and then they can survive as long as possible. But inside of Vanguard Zombies, not only is there nothing to hunt for or look for or build, all it is is just being thrown around from crappy location to crappy location doing really, really sad and lame objectives that push you to 
complete them in order to survive as quote unquote long as you can. And even this void gameplay, like how is that going to work? Are we going to have access to the whole map of Shinonuma? Are we? Do we get to go to the flogger area? Do we get to go to the docks or the doctor's quarters or whatever? Do we get to go to any of those locations? I don't know, man. Part of me doesn't think we would get to. Part of me doesn't think we're going to get to do that, but I don't know. It would be pretty lame if they didn't do it, but I could straight up see them just putting us inside of the main hut and saying, oh, we have survival gameplay. Because they're not saying full map of Shinonuma is coming to zombies. They're saying survival gameplay comes to Shinonuma and they have considered Shinonuma to be the hut. So I don't know, man. I think that Treyarch has screwed the pooch. They are acting like they have given us this great new mode of this new roguelike experience. And uh, that's their quote, not mine. And I think that this update is going to make the game worse. I'm calling it right now. I like the Pack-a-Punch camo, though. Other than that, just stop. Just stop. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like. And if you didn't, you can hit that dislike button. And if you loved the video, obviously you did, hit that subscribe button for more content just like this video. All right, everybody. I will see you in the next one. Peace out.